they sleep. To look like their mind is somewhere else. You tell them, wake up and help me praise God. I got to give him praise. Yes. I don't feel comfortable not giving God That's praise. Right. What I said about I'm going to give God my best. Yes. I don't give God a bootleg praise. For you, we talked a few times, but in the book of Luke, uh -huh. 
chapter 10. Yes, sir. Jesus sent 70 other folk up. You ain't the only one that's serving God. Amen. Somebody ought to help me today. I said, I said, he sent some more folk out. Is that what he said? Amen. amen. And, and, and we can give God praise for that. In, in, in that chapter, chapter, Father, we thank you. For your word today. Thank you, Lord. We ask that you bless your word right now. Gain yes. great glory. Hide me in you today. And I love you and I thank you for your prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. amen. In the 10th chapter of the Gospel of Luke, yes. verse 1 through, praise God, 6, and then 17 through 20, so the Daniels. We're going to read those and as we get ready. And I, and I thought Pastor Swanning is coming out of that 17th verse. All right? And also out of that 20th verse this afternoon. When you have it, you can say, man, those are that Bible. Don't come to church without the Bible. Get quiet in the house. But anyway. And I know I'm better, but I don't care. Amen? Verse 10 says what? Verse 1 says that after what? How many did you point? Seven. What? Also, and, and what else? <laughs> how, how did he send them out? <laughs> With what it was? Whether he himself would come. Look what it says in verse 2. What? Therefore, he said what? The what? But what? And what else? In other words, there's a, there's a lot of folk out here that need to get saved. And we got more sinners than we got laborers. In my home, amen. So I need God to send some more help to, to, to corral all these sinners that we may be able to help them. And, and, and the truth be said, you got some in your house too. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. These lies and gamblers and cheats and robbers, they didn't come from my house. Yeah. Come on, out there, man. They come from our houses. Yeah. And so he said, the harvest is plenteous, yeah. but the labors are few. Yeah. Pray yeah. that the Lord of the harvest would say, look, 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 look what else he said. And then he said, what else? And what else? In other words, it's a dangerous job. You're, I'm not sending you on a playground trip. Read on this one. What else? In other words, I want you to travel fast and light. Read on this one. What else? Say what? In verse 6, it is what? Your peace shall rest upon you. If you have, it shall turn to you again. Now, that 17th verse tonight, what does it say? And the 70th. Mm -hmm. Turn with joy. Turn with what? With joy. Say what? Say what? Say what? And what else? And he said, Behold. Then verse 19, Behold, I what? Behold, I to do what? And score And over all. And then what else? Not. But verse 20 is my key verse this evening. Notwithstanding. That what? But rather. If you got something to rejoice about, come on and sit down today. Amen. Amen. Rejoice because your name is in the book. Amen. I need to ask you, is your name in the book? Yes. Come on, I, I, I know it's homecoming, but you need to get your name in the book. Yes. Anybody home today? Amen. Y'all give me about five minutes of your time and about five amens 
then I'll get on out your way. The text says they return with joy. And, and if you're going to serve God, it shouldn't always be a burden. You ought to be happy that God picked you out. In my home today, how many glad you're in the house of God? How many glad you are serving of God? How many love serving Jesus? How many love serving the Lord? Does pay off, amen? That they return, not mad, but they return to I love praising God. I love serving God. Serving God ain't a burden to me. But I serve God because God has been good to me. I, I'm glad that God called us out, cleaned us up, turned us around, and said, I want you to serve me. Anybody home with me? Amen. If you serve God and it's a burden, the chances are you ain't fully committed. I'm hearing you now. Amen. Serving God should always be a burden to you. You want to have some joy serving God.
You know, so come on, y'all, you son. Hello, like this. Y'all, you look like son. Come on, church, what a son you need, it? And I, I took Tupac's sake. Y'all know Tupac. Don't play crazy on me here. Tupac said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm seeing from Tupac today. A dog is a true hero under God. In other words, it ain't, it ain't what I see, but it's what God can make out of it. Huh? I might see a drug dealer, but I might have, if God can hold to it, he can, can be a director of the choir. In other words, he can take that leadership and use it for the glory of God. Because they ain't where they are yet, yeah, amen. But can you help somebody? Can you pick somebody up? Can you give them a word from the Lord, amen? So I'm saying that the, the harvest is plenty. Yeah. The labors are few. And you know, you know what I said? Because it might be your son. That's right. Say that. It might be your daughter. Yeah. On the street corner. Yeah. I want to say, it's only the grace of God. That your son ain't on the street. Yeah. It's all only the grace of God that your daughter ain't on the corner. Yeah. Don't you look down at nobody else. Yeah. It's God's yeah. grace to protect your daughter. Yeah. It's God's grace to protect your son. Yeah. You ain't arrived yet. They ain't arrived yet. So you ought to thank God for what God is doing. And I praise Him that my son and daughter ain't on the corner. But I praise Him. I said, my daughter used to pray. Bless me, my family. I said, stop praying that prayer. Pray for somebody else sometime. Get quiet in the house. I'm on somebody's street. Every once in a while, pray for my kids. Pray for my family. I'm going to pray for yours. I'm going to tell God, help your family. If your, if your son is, 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 a, is a homosexual, I'm going to pray for him. I ain't going to talk about him. If your daughter's a lesbian, amen, God still loves her. He don't love what she's doing. He don't love what he's doing, but he still died for him and her. And I'll give God a prayer that I, they still need salvation. They still need the Lord in their life. So what is? Help me, Jesus. God, help me, though. Send forth some labor. Work into the heart. Then you want to know it's a dangerous job. Huh? Everybody want to love you because you want to serve God. Who told you that? Who told you folks want to love you? I remember when I first started passing it, let it call me and said, Pastor, we don't want you over here. Keep it real. She said, she didn't want me over here. I said, the Lord sent me over here. I said, I don't care what the Lord sent me, but we don't want you over here. Y'all didn't have anything. Huh? 30 years later, I'm still here and she's gone. I don't know. 20. You do the math. I can't do the math. 20, you do the math. <laughs> but God, I just threw that out there. But anyway. He said, I'm giving you a dangerous job. Yes, sir. It's a dangerous job. Yeah. I'm sending you as now. Among wolves. Come on, come on. Then he said, Don't care personal strength. No shoes. Trust God. And, and, and salute no man along the way. In other words, don't care personal strength. But trust God. If I'm on God. God will take care of you. Yes, God. How many of God will take care of you? Yes. How many of you feel the battlefield and God has what you need? Yes. Has God took care of anybody here? Yes. Has God made a way for anybody here? Yes. Has God brought you out for anybody here? Yes. Has God did this thing for you when you didn't know where it was coming yes. from? Yes. Has God did anything but anybody but me? Yes. Come on, over here this morning. Amen. Get 
through that. But his mercy and grace brought me through. And I give him praise for it today. Amen. Look what else he said in the text this afternoon. But, but, but he said, lambs among wolves. Then trust the Lord as you go. Yeah. Then he says, go from high ground. Come on, I said, amen. amen. It said, peace be to this house. Yeah. And the son of peace will be there. Yeah. Then he said, if the son of peace ain't there, yeah. don't sit there arguing with them folks. Yeah. Come on, yeah. amen. Yeah. I don't argue with folks. Yeah. I tell them what the Lord says, amen. Yeah. Then if they don't want to hear what the Lord says, I don't get what I do it. Yeah. I used to say, brother Swaggin, I can make folk get saved. I was crazy. This will life get saved. Yes. You can't make these <laughs> have a life. These Philistines get saved. Yes. You ought to help me now. How do you know I can't make them get saved? Yes. I'm so glad all God told me preach the gospel. Yes. If the gospel don't get your attention, ain't nothing else I can do. Yes. But I don't say, say tell what you how good God is. Yes. Amen. Amen. Anybody home today? Yes. I got a few more points and I'm going to get around to it. So they said, they said this afternoon, they tell us this afternoon, praise God. Trust the Lord. Yeah. Go from house to house. And yeah. tell peace be with you. Yeah. And the son of peace be there. Yeah. But if the son of peace is not there, yeah. then you shake the dust as you leave the city. Yeah. Yeah. Off your feet. Yeah. And it'll be a testament to those folks. But they ain't rejecting you because you ain't got nothing to give. Yeah. But they're rejecting the one that you represent. Yeah. So when you get folk the gospel, they ain't rejecting you. Because you didn't die for nobody. But they're rejecting the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. And the great I am. When I preach this gospel, if you never get saved, I don't know my job, amen. I come to Jesus Christ is a healer.
in the book of heaven. Look at our love I may not have my name in the White House, but I got my name in another house. I may not have my name in the courthouse, but I got my name in another house. And one of these days, the book's going to be open. Thank you. 
Uh, again, um, let me uh, thank the wonderful members uh, from the Greater New Hope Missionary Baptist Church and Great Temple again. We love you. Y'all need to give it up for this, this powerful preacher. Amen. Amen. God bless it. Uh, Mel Corris, we thank God for them and for all those that came back. And, uh, amen. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. We can go out of here now. Amen. <laughs> amen. Be free. Brother, be free. Praise God. Everybody well today? Everybody doing all right? Amen. Everybody ready to go home? Amen. Oh, let's go then. Amen. amen. Give us a march of music. We'll be on our way. God bless you. Amen. amen. God bless you, my sister. Amen. 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 God bless you. Praise and praise everybody. God bless you. Thank you. 